huge influx of students in the city right now, so sapping up real estate, right? Crazy. And people think, well, those are just rentals. Yeah, but it's keeping more supply off the market, yeah. potentially, and it's just driving up the cost of everything mm-hmm. else. And then combined with like builders not really building a bunch of stuff, the underlying fundamentals are set to pop, in yeah. my opinion. Okay, <laughs> talk to me about the Windsor market. Give me an update. Uh, I feel like a, a broken record to a certain Do, extent. It's, just, it's fine. Yeah, no, for sure. It's um. Well, okay. Yeah, so, just, so last time we spoke, you mentioned that there was the same amount of listings being, uh, uh, I don't know, what you call yeah. it posted or whatever, as being taken down. It was like 125 and 125. I yeah. Don't know, so like over okay, a so how long last... period or whatever. But you said that as long as you've been an agent, you've never seen that those two figures being equal. Yeah, so like let's take the last seven days. We had 350 new listings. Okay. A large portion of that were rentals. So let's, you know, whatever. Let's call it 275 <clears throat> resale listings new. And then we had 125 sales over the past seven days and 125 canceled listings. Oh, sales. Okay. So yeah. it was sales, not listings. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, so 125 properties sold, but 125 it. properties didn't sell and they canceled the listing. Got it. Okay. So that's... um. That's telling you something. On one end, it's like, well, stuff is moving. Like that's a decent number of sales. Okay. Um, for good our market, properties. Is it? Well, for the current conditions and the seasonality and the lack of listings, we don't have a lot of listings either. Got it. It's like relatively, like yeah, you know, most of the properties I'm involved in have multiple offers, but there's a lot of stuff that is not selling. It's not getting any action. Why? Because it's generally seller expectations still. Okay. Overpriced. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, most people think their house is better than it is. They got a, a one to two year in the past. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's a big thing. Well, I know Mindset. my neighbor sold for this yeah. and they're, you know, well, well that was in May and now the market's off at high. So yeah. we're not going to be able to achieve that most likely, mm. but we'll try. So know, what so. are they, so then they take, what, at what point are they saying, okay, well take it off the market. What are they doing? Are they waiting? Do they want to wait? If you don't have to sell, you wait. Yeah. And you just, whatever, I'll come back in six months or a year. Now is not the time to sell. Got it. Some people need to move. They had a kid. They want to move into something bigger. Like, I can't stand this anymore. We're, we, I want to sell my house and buy something new. Um, some people already bought or they bought pre-construction. Now it's coming to close. They have mm. to sell and you're beholden to the market. What kind of, walk me through that. What, what's the what's the pre-construction people going through right now? Are they scared? Uh, you know, it's, could, it's on hold mostly. Um, on hold. Yeah, unless you already were building before oh, okay. before all this happened, or unless you bought recently at a reduced price where your actual margins on projected sale price are solid. But mm. like I have a couple like builder clients right now that are like the margins are thin, right? They they're if we get our sale price, we're we're okay. But like we're not sure if we can get it. Like we're not trending really in the right direction right now. We're trending lower, mm. at least until the new year, most likely. So are they? Uh, are they like their margins are getting squeezed where they they might not even profit on a new build? Is that what you're saying, pretty much? Yeah, I think like we kind of we kind of ran it as like, okay, well, our worst case scenario is we should break even here, mm. but we sh- you know the we should be able to get make you a profit like fifty to one hundred k, let's say mm. on a a $900,000 bill built or 850, right? You should so be like, able to sell it for 950. So you're or, you're 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 maybe like 5 to 10% profit on a new build at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's more like 15, 17, 18, you know, which might be percent that, that's at the high end. Yeah, yeah. That's if everything goes really well. Yeah. Our worst case scenario is like, okay, well there's no way we're selling this for less than 850 or whatever yeah, the case is, it. right? Which is a break yeah. even. Then so there's then a what do they do? Case. It doesn't sell for 850. What's the game plan? You just eat it, most likely, depending on your financing costs. Rent you just, it? No, you just wait. Just, just wait. wait it out? It's like the market's strong enough. We have enough fundamentals here to drive an 850 sale price. And I see what's selling for 657. Like this is a way better product mm. for 850. And eventually the sellers of the six and 700K homes are going to be looking to trade up. It's just a matter of time, yeah. in my opinion. It's not like the underlying fundamentals are bad. Mm-hmm. They're actually very good. Right, which is population growth, job growth, economic growth for Windsor specifically, immigration trends, migration trends from all across the country to the cheapest city, battery plant, Gordy Howe Bridge, Mega Hospital, Amazon, very solid fundamentals. Student rental, man, like students are in flu- like huge influx of students in the city right now, so sapping up real estate, right? Crazy. And people think, well, those are just rentals. Yeah, but it's keeping more supply off the market. Yeah. Potentially, and it's just driving up the cost of everything mm-hmm. else. And then combined with like builders not really building a bunch of stuff, 
the underlying fundamentals are set to pop in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. I'm so seeing that's a lot why of build- I would just say wait. I'm seeing a lot of builders uh, actually starting to do a lot of renovations instead. Like home right. home builders, like developers are taking on renovation jobs. For other clients? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you expect, right? Like you they have trades. Yeah, yeah, they got they got trades. They want to keep their trades busy, so they're doing smaller renovations. Like I know a pretty big builder around town right now and he's like renovating a bathroom. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's kind of crazy. But they're yeah. they're not building cuz they don't have the I was talking to John the other day and and John's like, "Yeah, they're ju- they're just like not building right now. It doesn't make sense for them to build." Yeah, 100%. You yeah. have to have your numbers right in this market or you mm-hmm. will end up canceled. Yeah. Uh, like you're you'll cancel the listing. You, yeah. You know, and that, those are the hard conversations. And uh, a lot of agents are just kind of like blowing smoke. Oh, yeah, we'll get you that price. Mm. No, but if you have your numbers right, you, you should sell in, in the market.